Okay, so I saw Technoblade do this, and I'm gonna try it out myself. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we've got District 1 with Corn Kid and my dog. We've got District 2 with Ranbu and Smokey Bee. District 3 with Technoblade and the Queen of England. District 4 with Chat Noir and Black Widow. District 5 with Robin and Ladybug. District 6 with The Croc and Lois Lane. District 7 with Mr. Beast and Annabeth from Percy Jackson. District 8 with Steve Harrington and my sister. District 9 with Cam Man 18 and me, Shorty. District 10 with Tommy Innit and Rapunzel. District 11 with Gwen Stacy and the Winter Soldier. And District 12 with Handsome Squidward and Raven. So with that, we have all of our contestants for this year's Hunger Games. And I guess we'll begin the process. So as the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Many of the contestants run away from the cornucopia, including Lois Lane, Cam 18, Chat Noir, Tommy, and Annabeth. But the Queen of England grabs a shield from the cornucopia and Rapunzel finds a bow and arrow. Nothing really happens here. So sad. Next, we have the croc grabs a shovel. Mr. Beast scares my dog away from the cornucopia. The corn kid finds a canteen full of water. My sister grabs a backpack, but it's empty. Loser. Black Widow is unable to convince Ranboo to not kill her. And Handsome Squidward strangles Steve Harrington with a rope. What the heck? This is crazy. Now we have Ladybug grabs a backpack. It's empty. Loser. Gwen runs away from the cornucopia, Technoblade takes a handful of throwing knives, Smokey Bee, Raven, and Shorty get into a fight. I triumphantly win both of them, oh, after killing both of them, whatever. Winter Soldier runs away, and so does Robin, losers. Now we have my sister, sets an explosive, killing off Cam 18, Queen of England, and Shorty, no! Lois Lane explores the arena, Tommy and it travels to higher ground, Rapunzel discovers a river. Ladybug overhears Robin and Gwen talking in the distance. Creepy. Mr. Beast travels to higher ground and Annabeth injures herself. Oh my gosh. Now we have Rambo searching for firewood. Chat Noir picks flowers. The what the frick, bro? The croc begs for Handsome Squidward to kill him. He refuses, keeping the croc alive. Corn Kid, my dog, and Blaze hunt for other tributes. The Winter Soldier thinks about home. Now we have our deaths, but I, I'm not, I don't need to say all of them. You can just pause it and look at it. I'm, I'm lazy. Now we have Lois Lane and Mr. Beast holding hands at night one. That's creepy. Tommy in it and Rapunzel sleep in shifts. Corn Kid shoots a poisonous blow dart at my sister's neck, slowly killing her. Rambo stays awake all night. Technoblade and the croc hold hands. <laughs> what is with this holding hands? It's kind of creepy. If I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's weird. My sister's dead now. Now we have Annabeth starts a fire. Handsome Squidward stabs Chat Noir with a tree branch. The Winter Soldier gets some medical supplies. Gwen and Blaze, my dog, tell stories about themselves. <laughs> How? How? Ladybug receives fresh food. Robin receives fresh food. Losers. How do Gwen and my dog talk? She's a dog. <laughs> Now we have Gwen receives an explosive. Rapunzel receives fresh food. Tommy and it begs for Mr. Beast to kill him. He refuses, keeping Tommy alive. Annabeth picks flowers like the loser she is, and Handsome Squidward explores the arena. What is going on? <sighs> Mr. Beast just saved him. Like the good soul he is. Or is he? I don't know. We'll see. Now we have Technoblade exploring the arena. The croc tries to sleep through the entire day. What the heck? Corn Kid is pricked by a thorn while picking berries. A little child. Robin overhears Lois and Rambo talking in the distance. You little creep. Ladybug discovers a cave and the winter soldier fishes. Blaze attempts to climb the tree but falls to her death. Of course! And the deaths. That poor dog tried to climb up a freaking tree. How should- why- I- ugh, that doesn't make any sense. Now, we have Annabeth receiving medical supplies, Rapunzel cooks her food, Mr. Beast tends to Ranboo's wounds, Ladybug and Winter Soldier, Lois Lane, Technoblade, and Robin sleep in shifts like the weirdos they are. Handsome Squidward stays awake all night, the corn kid quietly hums, 
Gwen starts a fire, Tommy loses sight of where he is, and the croc is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. <laughs> He's a freaking shoe! Why would he need warmth? He's a shoe! Okay, this is... I don't know. Next, we have Lois goes hunting. Winter Soldier steals from the croc while he isn't looking. <laughs> He's a shoe. Rambo sprains his ankle while running away from Gwen. Ladybug searches for water. Rapunzel overhears handsome Squidward and Annabeth in the distance. Everyone is just creepy. Technoblade makes a wooden spear. Mr. Beast and Robin work together for the day. Okay, cool, cool. Corn Kid practices his archery because he needs it. And Tommy hunts for other tributes. Now we have the Winter Soldier starting a fire. Rapunzel also starts a fire. Ladybug strangles Robin after engaging a fist fight. The Croc sets up a camp for the night. Annabeth and the Corn Kid lose a fight against Lois Lane and Handsome Squidward. Lois Lane and Handsome Squidward survive. Mr. Beast fends Technoblade Gwen and Rambo away from his fire. Tommy receives an explosive. That's not going to go well. Not at all. It's day four and Technoblade sprains his ankle while running away from the Winter Soldier. Ladybug discovers a river, and Mr. Beast picks a flower. What? It's a flower at this time? Tommy receives more explosives. The Croc sets an explosive, killing Rapunzel, Lois Lane, Gwen, and Rambo. Handsome Squidward discovers a cape. What is with this discoveries? And frickin' Mr. Beast picking a frickin' flower at this time. It is not time for that. These are the deaths. I'm, again, not going to list them because I am lazy as can be, and... You know, I don't I don't know why this is so long or going this long because I should have made it a lot shorter, but it's it's whatever. Now, day, night 4. We've got Winter Soldier and Handsome Squidward running into each other and decide to truce for the night. Mr. Beast quietly hums like the loser he is. The Croc, Technoblade, Ladybug, and Tommy in it tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. That is not going to help you. That's just going to make you more depressed and scared because you never know what the arena is going to do to you. It's just terrifying. Okay, it's the feast. The cornucopia replenishes with food, supplies, and weapons, and blah, blah, blah. Mr. Beast sobs while gripping a photo of his family and friends. Tommy and Ladybug get into a fight over raw meat, but Ladybug runs away because she's a loser. The Croc decides not to go. Neither does the Winter Soldier or Handsome Squidward or Technoblade. Like, no one just went. It was, it was literally just Mr. Beast. And then freaking Tommy and Ladybug getting over a fight over raw meat. What the heck? Now, day five. Technoblade tries to spear a fish with a trident. Ladybug searches for wood. Mr. Beast tries to spear a fish with his trident. Croc discovers a cave. Winter Soldier also discovers a cave. Handsome Squidward discovers a river. And Tommy accidentally detonates a landmine. He's dead. Bro. Okay, the monstrous hurricane wreaks havoc in the arena. Winter Soldier survives. Okay, everyone survives, just except for Tommy, because he died from his explosives that he got. Because, thankfully, I don't know. (laughs) They're all alive. It's fine. Whatever. This is our death. Poor Tommy. May rest in peace. Pieces. (laughs) Pun intended. You're welcome. Okay, night five. Technoblade climbs a tree to rest. The croc thinks about home. Mr. Beast and handsome Squidward work together to drown the winter soldier. Ladybug screams for help. From what? I don't know. Because it it just says that. But freaking tried to kill the winter soldier. Now we have day six. Technoblade kills the croc as he tries to run. Squidward receives medical supplies. Ladybug discovers a cave and Mr. Beast picks a flower again because he's freaking loser. What is he doing? Just like wasting time in this murderous arena. At least Ladybug's finding shelter. He's just finding flowers. Come on. Okay, our deaths. May they rest in peace. Pieces. <laughs> I have a terrible sense of humor. You're welcome. Okay, night five. Technoblade is awoken by nightmares. Oh. Ladybug loses sight of where she is. Handsome Squidward and Mr. Beast talk about the other tributes still alive, probably planning to kill them. Day 7. Handsome Squidward makes a wooden spear. Technoblade defeats Mr. Beast in a fight, but spares his life. Mercy. 
and Ladybug discovers another cave. Another, this is like the fourth cave today. What the heck? What are you doing with your life? Okay, arena event. The arena turns pitch black and nobody can see anything. Oh no. Hence, it's Squidward fights and kills Technoblade, who is making too much noise. Mr. Beast finds and kills Ladybug, who was making too much noise, not Technoblade. Ladybug can die for all I care, but not Technoblade. No. And our deaths of Technoblade and, and Ladybug, it doesn't matter about her. But Technoblade, may he rest in peace. My poor, my poor children. And now we have night seven. Mr. Beast pushes handsome Squidward off a cliff during a knife fight. What the heck? Freaking Squidward loser. And Mr. Beast has won from District 7. Bruv. That was epic. And now I'm out of breath. Anyway, see you guys later.